That's it. Push, push. Hey, a little more. Oh, I can't, I can't do it anymore. Good. Good. Hey, Dad. Yeah, yeah. You hanging in there? Sure, whatever you say. Okay, well, if you get lightheaded, do me a favor and fall that way. Yeah. Now we have so many hands, can't catch you in the baby boat. Okay, I, sh I should be fine as soon as I get circulation back in my hand. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 that's what I'm here for. No, you squeeze my hand as tight as you want. I'm gonna take it. I hope so, because we're just getting started. I thought this third kid was supposed to be easier. You're doing great. What about the, the pain? Is there anything that you can give her? The best medicine is holding your baby in her arms. One look at that sweet face and Elizabeth will forget all about the pain. That's the real miracle of childbirth. You know, if anyone remembered, you think they do it again? Never. All right, let's do this. You can do it. Okay, big push. Come on. Okay. All right, push, push. You are so busted. I knew you couldn't stay away. I had fun today. So did the boys. And Morgan would live on the boat if we let him. It was so cute trying to teach Jocelyn how to sail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta get him started young, I guess. That should be captain in no time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see you smile again. Nice to have a reason. My kids are safe, Michael's home. Everything is right with the world. <laughs> oh, almost everything. Thanks. You know, it really was an amazing day. It doesn't have to end, you know? We could go up on the roof and watch the sunset. Well, the boys, I mean, they're gonna be... Coming. No, no, the boys, are, they're gonna be busy cleaning the boat for, for a while. And Jocelyn's being put to bed as we speak. There's no one left to take care of but you. So what do you say? Rooftop sunset, bottle of champagne. I'll get the kitchen to send up some of those uh, chocolate-covered strawberries that you're so fond of. Okay. Let me run a brush through my hair. I will wait for you as long as it takes. Oh, Jax, you're back just in time. The, the warden's gonna wanna hear this. The warden's at a rehabilitation seminar, which is a waste of taxpayer money if you ask me. Why hire a therapist to bring out you cutes? But I'd give you a beat down for free. Okay, then just take me to whoever's in charge right now. As far as you're concerned, I am. Uh, th this, this is not a joke. I have information on a serial killer. So does every con in here, but you were the only one getting special treatment. Not anymore. Vacation's over. The phone call. At least let me make a phone call. I'll run it past the warden just as soon as he gets back. Did Jason try to run? No, he was here working on a lead with Spinelli. Then how did he end up back in Pentonville? Detective Domestico felt Stone Cold's usefulness had run its course and saw to it that he was reincarcerated post haste. Ronnie doesn't have the authority to send Jason back to prison. Well, he does if the terms of Jason's release have been violated. Violated? How? Upon finding Stone Cold in possession of a certain tool of his trade, he proceeded to oh, violate Oh, great. Wait a minute here. Where did Jason get a gun? It's not like they're in short supply around here. You were supposed to keep an eye on him. Look, we're playing a cat and mouse game with a sociopath who would gladly leave a trail of blood between here and Hollywood. And, and, and I'm not the guy he wants a date with. Okay, so you could make my life a hell of a lot easier if you arrange for Jason's release. He was carrying a gun. I need Jason out of prison. Or we're gonna have a lot more dead bodies on our hands. Maybe even this time, one of our own. My son was murdered. Run down in the street and left to die like an animal. There's nothing you can do to me. It was an accident, Warren, and you know that. What he did to Christina was, was no accident. She went to the hospital twice because your son beat the hell out of her like an animal. Christina knows the truth. And so do you, because abusers aren't... They aren't born. They're taught. You get hit enough, eventually you hit back. More baseless accusations. I can see how Christina comes by her lying so naturally. I can see the truth all over your face. You knew damn well that your son was capable of doing what he did to Christina, and you did nothing. You want to know why? Because you hit Kiefer first.